This letter's in English. No. I'm Irish. I'm here on the island of Ireland. We speak Irish here, not English. Hmm. I start writing the story of my life here on the island. Hmm. Growing up, we were pulled out of school when I was 12 years old and I had to begin working in the cleaning services and I was cooking as well. It was hard work. Until two years later, when I was ill and I returned home to my family and stayed with them for a while. I returned to the working cleaning services again and continued my life from there. One day I met a man. He was a fisherman. I went on to marry him and we had 12 children together. Hmm. Seven survived. I would tell my children the story of my life here on the island. I wrote about my one surviving son who would continue to support me. The long history here. The ghosts, the religious stories would continue on and life would stay the same here on the island. It would never change till I died in 1958. One of my surviving sons continues to tell people the same stories that I told about this island. Hmm. I don't understand. just the two of us. He's dead. My brother Patrick has gone on a boat. He went to get the priest. I'm worried. We're the last three left on this island. Before there was twelve families who lived here. But slowly as some have died, some have left, and now it's just us. What am I going to do? He's dead. 
What about me and Patrick now? What do we do? Oh. How do we get out of this island? Hmm. I don't know what to do. Do we go to the mainland? I went to school there many years ago, in St Mary's for a short time, but I grew up most of my life here on the island. Um, times have changed. Imagine seeing the island all the way down to the last three of us. Hmm. Oh. 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 How? After years and years of studying, all the hard work, I've gone in and studied it in various different colleges. I've gone to London, Paris, New York. I have all these experiences. Yet I'm still stuck. I have these ideas in my head. I know exactly what I want to express. But I'm paralysed. I can't. I can't express them. And next year... In the year 1850, in Italy, in a town called Venice, there will be a well-known and extremely important event for artists. It's the festival that only takes place every two years. And last month, I received a letter. And that letter said that this year I'll be invited. Myself and my friend, a brilliant artist, whose name is Reed. So we're both going to go and travel together to Italy. We're so excited. But it's also a lot of pressure and stress. You need to prepare. There's a lot involved. You prepare the same drawings and sketches to kind of prove that you're worth being there. Hold on. Maybe that's why I'm paralysed. Maybe if I forget about what I'm aiming to do and all the work I need to get done and the preparation and just simply focus on the here and now. That's right. I'll try to do that and only think about what's happening now. Oh. Have a look at this. So yesterday I was taking a walk with my dog and I found this. A bit mysterious, right? I was kind of trying to figure out, will I open it? Will I not? Well, I did. Maybe I'll show it to you. <laughs> uh, um, hmm. <clears throat> or maybe it's better to pass it on to the next person. And continue on from there. They'll pass on and continue on until somebody finally announces what's in it. Yeah. Now I better go back to work. It's time to get back to work. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. We 
want to thank the Dublin we would like to thank the Dublin the Theatre of the Deaf for their, for their fantastic performances on, on some of the most notable people here in Ireland. With the support from Kildare County Council and Creative, the Ireland, Kildare County Council like and Creative Ireland, Ireland, we would like to welcome you, to welcome Ireland, 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 like to welcome you here to this weekend's ISL Visual and Virtual ISL Festival. We have some fantastic things planned out and a lot of different workshops. So please have a look and get involved. You we hope you have a great time and lots and, and lots, lots of fun. Yay!